everyone. I was just media training one of my clients who's a CEO of a company that just got $50 million in Series C and is expanding worldwide. We were practicing for a very short, short eight-minute talk on a stage with a thousand people in the audience. And one of the things that we were doing is workshopping his talk. And he, I said, what would make you feel most comfortable? And he said, rehearsing. I feel if I can get it into my bones, I'll feel so much more comfortable. Then we can work on blocking, pausing, you know, voice variation and how to use the stage and interaction and all of those other things. And one of the things that he had wanted to do ahead of time is he really wanted it more tightly scripted before he practiced. But what I recommended is that we actually do it right there on the spot because it's in the doing of it that you see what happens and new ideas and fresh ideas come up lots of times that weren't scripted. And that was proof in point because the other CEO of that same company who was a CEO of the different branch of the company that I had already media trained he had his signature story that he typically told of how the company began, but he told it in a different way when I asked him and his PR person said, oh my gosh, I've never heard it, that version. They started using that version and the very next media appearance they had, they used that version in set instead. So it's in the play, it's in the variation, it's seeing what's coming up when you're actually speaking it, not what's on the page, because that's when things come alive oftentimes and new things come in because you're not thinking, because it's actually in situ and you can allow new kind of inspiration to come in and inform your talk or your media appearance, whatever that's going to be, and it becomes better because of it.